Hey guys, this is Xbox here, and this is going to be just a quick guide slash uh, tutorial on how I was able to beat um, the level called Killing Fields on All Orcs Must Die. So here, you can see that what I do is try to get my perks um, to uh, block, first off, block that one entrance right back there. So really, all the Orcs only have uh, one way to go. So here, you're sort of right out the gate, you're sort of stuck with facing all these guys all by yourself, but it shouldn't be too, pro too long of a problem because... They really have a long way to run down this hallway, so you can pretty much just shoot a lot of these guys and uh, take them down here. So here I'm basically, again, just solo on the very first uh, section here. And you can see all I really did was just block off the, uh, the main entrance or the main hallway entrance down here at the end of this hallway. So they would run, keep running straight and go right to the uh, rift, but unfortunately since I have it blocked off, they're not going to be able to run down this, uh, down this hallway here. They'll run into this main section, but then they'll actually have to turn around. So you can see, pretty easy right there. So what I want to go ahead and do is start building up a, uh, a system here. I did put one of those big turret things up there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can place another one. Again, just to make it a little more difficult because now I know that they're all of them, regardless if they come out both the right or left side, they will have to come uh, basically through those uh, two main items there. So here I really don't care uh, if they come out the left side, but on this side they just come out the right side. So I'm going to try and you know kill them as much as I can and try to get as much damage as I can in on these guys before they come through this uh, sort of sweeper section here. You can see those things do quite a bit of damage on those guys. So it's always great to have more uh, tar pits in there just to uh, just to help out here. So here, not many of them make it through again because they're running right through your main section here. So what I wanted to do here is uh, you know add a few more of these uh, tar pit traps, if that's what you want to call them. Again, because this does just a ton of damage here. So to add to the damage output, I'm going to go ahead and add an, uh, just a, a general archer here. And this time I want to follow the same technique. So here, um, I see that they're sending sending those little small guys. That is okay because those smaller guys cannot run over the uh, barricade that you have set on the other hallway. So sooner or later, they will actually eventually have to come down this way here. So here I'll keep spamming the, uh, the wrist thing. I'll keep spamming the wrist thing so uh, we can get that away from them. And then, of course, here I'm going to go ahead and make sure, again, that a lot of their guys really can't get through this section. So you'll see if you look on my map over to the left, we got a ton of guys going for that door. But a ton of them are actually just going to be sort of stuck in that uh, main room because they cannot get through that door. Now, I could have ran over there and um, I could have ran over there and possibly dumped that tar on top of them. But I figured, you know what, let's just go over here and uh, keep things simple. So here again, I'm going to see here they come. Those uh, big swinging <laughs> things from the roof are definitely doing a lot of damage here. And my archer is definitely getting a few shots in here. I can see there's a few scragglers left over on the other side, still sort of confused on what to do over there. So here I'm going to run up and uh, just go ahead and kill the last few scragglers here that uh, were sort of stuck over on the other side. There's two more here. So perfect. I was able to clear um, sort of the first round, both all three rounds. So what I want to do here is definitely add a lot more damage here, or add you know more items that would uh, affect the uh, them coming down sort of the staircase here. So here, what I decided to do is go ahead and put a few of these. Uh, I was thinking, should I add a few more of those? Should I add the bigger one? Yeah, let's add the third one because again. By the time that uh, the the left hallway gets here, hopefully they won't uh, be able to do too much. So here, I want to add additional uh, pit traps, tar traps there. But this time I want to go ahead and add a few more archers because adding a few more archers will add to the DPS that I'm able to push out here. So here, just add a few more of those archers. Unfortunately, I can't add any more here, so let's go ahead and begin. So here comes uh, round two, an additional three phases. And this is pretty simple too. Um, since you've blocked off that additional hallway, you don't have to worry about uh, those coming running, you know, all the way down and getting you. 
The only ones you really have to worry about are the hunters there, because the hunters can jump over the walls. But the thing is, is uh, you know, by the time they get to you, you're pretty much going to already have their life pretty much down from a lot of the stuff here. So you can see here, I daisy stun him and stun both these guys. And with all the damage that was taken from those previously three swings, they don't really have much left here. So here, I'm going to go ahead and add a few more spike walls to increase the damage output that I do here. Go ahead and clear out a few more of these guys down here. So here comes the rest of the ones from the uh, the left hallway. And pretty easy to kill. Again, there's really nothing much they can do when they, send, when they have to go down to this main area here. But you can see that there's a ton of other guys down here because, again, they're sort of confused, really don't know where to go. I do have a few archers on the uh, on the end of the hallway because again, the, you know, I didn't know if those guys that uh, come and they have the bombs on them will come up and blow up the uh, blow up the uh, the wall there. I didn't want that to happen here. Nice. So perfect, that phase is beat. What I wanted to do here is put a few archers here again, um, just to be on the safe side. That uh, that if anybody were to come or those bomb guys were to come, at least they would get shot before they actually got there. So here we can see this side is holding up great. They send, of course, a bunch of those smaller guys first. And of course, you can spam your uh, fireball right there, no problem. And then here, I want definitely want to try and kill as many of them as I can before they actually get up to the uh, to the main section here. You can see my archers are doing a decent amount of damage. I mean, not too much, but they are sort of setting uh, a few of them back, you know, just to be on the safe side. Spike walls are still doing great. The spike walls will work not only for the people who are coming on the right corridor, but also the left corridor. And just to be on the safe side here, I wanted to go ahead and put... Uh, I was going to put two of the uh, guards, but I figured, you know what? A few more of these tar traps should do the trick here. At least give me enough time for my archers to recharge and those swinging uh, hammer things to really just do a maximum amount of damage. You can see we are just tearing these guys up who are coming around the corner. Nothing much they could possibly do there. So here I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, add an additional tar traps here to ultimately slow down the onslaught of all these guys regardless if they're coming from the right or left. And here they're gonna follow again sort of the same technique. They're gonna send a bunch of orcs both right and left side. So this should be very similar to the last round. Um, this is the last round of, or this is the last wave of round two. So here, they're really not going to get through. All my archers are definitely taking care of a lot of these guys. Um, here I tried to choose stun, uh, and I want to stun them all. And you can see they're going to send two, basically, floods here on this last round here. Archers, again, are doing their job. I'm setting up a few more spike traps just to ensure that uh, any additional damage is done to these guys that I can do. So here comes the flood of the other side. You can see on the map, they got a ton of their guys still sort of stuck in that corridor back there. So I'm going to go over here and try and figure out, you know, additional in items that I could face. put. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and add additional archers here. So here I'm going to add additional archers just again to add to the DPS that I'm outputting here. You can see they're all coming around this corner, and I could just simply sit here and spam all day long and just get a lot of these guys here. So perfect. I know that this uh, little mini death trap area here is working great. Uh, I want to go ahead and add additional tar traps to, uh, to my death trap that I got going here. And then, of course, I'm trying to figure out ways to do additional damage to these guys um, that are going to come over the top here. I don't want them to keep flooding this side. So what I was thinking here is maybe put a few additional items um, or a few additional safeguards over here, including the Guardians. So two Guardians right there are definitely going to be a nice safeguard. This is going to be something very difficult for them to come through. 
So here comes round three. Uh, here you're going to have an additional uh, three or four phases here. So you have this additional first phase of these fast, quick running guys. So here again, not too difficult. I'm just trying to dwindle down their uh, their crew here. So when they come through my death trap, there's not a lot they can do. So you can see here with the archers as well as the spear walls, they're not really going to make it past the second set of uh, of uh, traps there. Our second set, our second row of pit traps there. So here I'm going to go check. You can see there is just a ton of their guys down there. They really don't know, you know, which way to run. You sort of have to come tease them. So here I'm going to go ahead and just try to annihilate as many of these guys as I can. You can see there is a ton of these guys here. So perfect. I beat that. That was technically still the first wave. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is say, okay, Let's add some additional uh, spike traps here on the walls. This way, you know, if these guys are coming, at least they'll do a little bit of damage and of course, add to my DPS there. So here I'm gonna follow the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a bunch of fireballs down here to clear, clear out the herd down here. Go ahead and spam this a, go a bunch. And then of course, I really don't have to worry about that left side because I know that that left side over there is going to be perfectly fine because again they're all going to have to filter through this uh, section over here. So here you can see uh, archers are definitely doing a bunch of damage. And you can see that whole left side is still contained over there. I should have went and dump, dumped the, uh, the hot lava stuff on them but I figured hey I'd rather just go ahead and blast and shoot them. So we can see we got a, uh, a fire orc here. Definitely a little bit tougher to do. So here, I'm just going to continue to spam this guy as much as I can, or really just let him run back. It really, it really doesn't matter to me. I'll let him run back, um, and I'll go ahead and kill all the orcs first, and then go after the, the fire orc. So perfect. I'm going to come back here and try and clean up uh, the rest of these guys over here. I can see they still got their, uh, their fire orc here. I'm going to come here and try and stun, stun that fire orc. You can see my archers died, unfortunately, because of the, uh, the guys here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So here I'm going I'm to continue to cast a fire bolt on him and just keep spamming this guy with my shots. I know I should have slowed it down and tried getting headshots, but I wanted to try and spam as many hits as I can on this guy as I could. So here I was getting close, so what I'm going to try and do again is kill the uh, the archers who were getting me. So perfect, we knocked him down. I was thinking, oh great, uh, well, you know, what's going to come on this phase? So here I decided to just place another archer. Um, that way again, or another two archers in case they send the guys who blow up the things here. I figured one would do, do good. So I'm going to run back over to my main section here. Figuring, okay, we pretty much got this, you know, got this set here. Let's cast a few fireballs down this way. It's not going to hurt anything. And the hunters are the real guys you have to watch out because they'll come up here and decimate uh, your archers if you don't, if you leave them just sitting there. So here you can see that whole set really had no effect on me. The whole left side is still doing perfectly fine, still being contained. And by this time I got a ton of cash, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, how can I spend this additionally? Should I add more additional items on that uh, staircase that comes down or just basically add <laughs> a ton more archers? For me, I'm just going to add a ton of archers again to add to this DPS when they try to come around that corner there.
you can see, again, this one hallway technique is working great. Um, again, not really a lot, you know, a lot of difficulty here. So I'm basically getting ready for uh, the final three waves that are going to come through. So here, I'm going to try and figure out more additional ways to add just a ton of DPS here. So yeah, I can go ahead and add a few more of these. So perfect. And then, of course, I was trying to figure out, should I add something, you know, should I add something uh, a little more on the upper staircase, or should I just add, you know, more archers here? But it looks like I couldn't add any more archers because I hit my limit. So the best, that, or I could add another guardian, but next best thing I could do was probably go in here and add a bunch more tar pits. This way, again, it's they, they're ultimately slowed down here. So in phase three, here comes, or in round three, here comes phase one. And it's a bunch of their archers, and I'm just going to continue to cast the uh, you know, the fire burst right there. Continue to follow my strategy of try to kill all of these guys here. You can see I'm killing, trying to kill these guys as best as I can. I can see that uh, over here, they're, they're, again, they're building up down here. There is a ton of them. I should have went ahead and triggered that uh, hot ooze up there. But I really didn't want to run in there and just get uh, taken down by all these guys really quick. So continue just to sit here and uh, spam these guys as best as I can. So perfect, wave one of round three is done. I still got a decent amount of cash here. Trying to figure out additional things I should do. I should put another swinger or whatever that is up there. Um, but here I'm just thinking, okay, you know what? Let's add a few more archers. Let's max this out here uh, to max out the full DPS. These guys are a little bit far away, but uh, that's perfectly fine. I just didn't want anybody to get through. So here again, they're gonna send their uh, little quick runner guys right at me, but Pretty much it's very, very easy for the technique that I've used to get rid of those guys. Then over here, I was just going to double check to make sure they're not sending any of those guys that blow up the gates early, which they aren't, so I'm just going to let those guys run and do their thing. You can see here my archers are definitely laying into these guys, definitely doing a ton of DPS. So this is working great. Again, I'm able to filter a lot of these orcs down to this one area and really have a centralized killing zone that, uh, where they all simply are dying at. So here we're getting a decent, a decent high kill streak. Here comes the final wave of technically round, this is round four. So this is the final wave that they're going to send here. I have a decent amount of cash. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, you know, where can we barricade stuff? Where can we uh, make sure that they don't come running through? So here I see that we have all these set up. I set additional blocks just in case those, uh, those runner guys, those hunters are going to run over that. So here I'm just going to try and help out this side because I know technically the right side should be perfectly fine. So we can see here a lot of the uh, the hunter guys are trying to come through, but it looks like my archers and uh, my death traps I have going through here are working fine. So here comes a, uh, a armored orc, and this guy again will come through and devastate all of your guys, so you definitely need a way to slow him down. So here we're doing great with the stuns and just allowing him to go through that whole uh, pit here. Here I actually started to get worried because I hear uh, an archer has fallen over on this other side. So I start to get a little bit worried, but then I look and I see that they actually haven't passed it. They, I figure they probably just got knocked back by uh, by all the archers that they actually had, the, the orcs had. So here I'm going to come over here and try and clean up this uh, last armored ogre here. Definitely he takes a lot of hits to kill. I didn't know the uh, I didn't know the special way to kill this guy, so all I did here again was just sort of spam him. I should have tried dragging him into the uh, to the death pit over there, but for some reason he kept wanting to uh, to go back that way here.
So I'll just continue to spam this guy with as much stuff as I got here. Continuous stuns. You can see my archers are back there doing a little bit of damage on him. And I should have went and poured the, uh, that goop right there. But again, just, just uh, didn't have the time here. And perfect. After I kill this guy, that's how I was able to beat this level. So hopefully this guide helped you guys out in the techniques used. Go ahead and subscribe. And thanks again for watching, guys.